We are getting ready to go on a family road trip and I'm gonna show you how we are packing our car for this six hour drive to Ohio. I'm so excited to test it out. These are amazing. As you can see, I have three baskets here and all of them serve a purpose. I have an essential basket that I always have in my car. I have the snacks and I have the entertainment. So I'm gonna go through each one of them and show you what I put in them that I find essential for any car ride. First of all though, I wanna talk about these baskets that I have. I ordered these baskets off Amazon. They come in a pack of three and they are collapsible and I love them and I always keep them in my car because we have stairs that lead from our garage to upstairs and I find it so easy, like when I'm coming home from the grocery store, to load up these all with my groceries and then just carry these upstairs instead of carrying a whole bunch of bags. I can fit so much in these and I just love keeping them in my car. I'll put a link in my description below on where to get these because I absolutely love them and I think you will too. But now let's get to the essentials, what I always have in my car, no matter what, even if it's just a trip to Target. This never leaves my car. I always have a change of clothes for Layla Jane, especially because now we're kind of on the tail end of potty training, but she still has some accidents every now and then. So I like to have an extra pair of pull-ups and undies for her. And I always have clothes and socks, just in case she spills on herself, or if it gets cold, I have socks for her too. Or if we're going someplace, Place where she might need socks to go into. I like to have socks always in the car. Same thing with like Defy, Urban Air, all those trampoline parks. I always have those socks in my car. Second, I always have antibacterial wipes, hand sanitizer, and extra face mask. Even though a lot of places don't require face mask anymore, sometimes there are places and I always like to have some on hand just in case. I also like to have baby wipes on hand. They're so convenient. I love having them just in case we have sticky fingers or a sticky face. They make it easy to clean up messes, so I really like those. And last, I always have water bottles in the car, usually one just for everyone that's in the car, so usually just three for Brian, myself, and Layla. I have a trash bag. That's essential. Always want to have a trash bag in the car. And I always have like one big snack. So I always keep a thing of goldfish in my car because everyone in my family loves goldfish. So that's a safe bet. So for this road trip, I'm gonna keep everything the same in this essential basket. However, any medicines that I wanna have handy, I'm gonna have here, so you know, like Tylenol, Pepto, anything like that, I wanna put in this essential basket. Also, I'm gonna add a few more bottles of water, and I think that's it. Everything else is just gonna stay the same in that basket. Now let's move on to the food basket. So this is one of my favorites. And I know a lot of people like to have individual Ziploc bags of snacks for each person and each of their kids. And I think that's awesome, that works great. But we only have one kid and pretty much all of us love the same snack. So I just put everything in one big basket. And I try to do like an assortment of crunchy, salty, sweet, healthy items. But most importantly, everything I put in there is pretty mess free. Some of my favorite salty and crunchy snacks are goldfish. As I mentioned, they're in my essential bag. I also decided to get this new one. These are these veggie goldfish, and this one has its cheesy tomato. It has a third a serving of tomatoes in it, and they're delicious. It kind of tastes like when you put goldfish in tomato soup. They are so good, I love these. We also love these crunchy chickpeas. We buy these all the time. They have all different flavors, and Layla loves them, we all love them, and they feel they're, like they're healthy, and they're just a good snack to have. For fruits, I like to have the mini apples, some grapes, and I'm also gonna be getting bananas. Now the apples, I make sure to pre-wash all those, pre-wash the grapes, and the bananas I just haven't gotten yet, but I'm going to the store later, and I'm gonna get those. I just wasn't able to get to the store this morning. Some other healthy snacks are these 100 calorie pack nuts. Those are great to have. Layla loves nuts, so do we, so those are good. Crackers, love crackers. Pouches, pouches are fantastic to have. They're easy and pretty much no mess, so definitely bringing these with us. And one thing that's a little sweet and has a little more sugar to it are the fruit snacks, but Layla loves these and I know these will make her happy. So even if she's having a meltdown, a fit, wants to get out of the car, if I give her some of those, she'll be so happy. A 
A few other things that I always put in here too that I just don't have yet are meat sticks. So kind of like, you know, those Slim Jims or something like that. I know they're not the healthiest. Sometimes a lot of them have sodium in it, but they are really quick, easy protein. So I am gonna get some of those or I might just get beef jerky because everyone loves that too. And like I said, that's a quick, easy, non-messy protein snack for everyone. And another thing that I always know can cure any bad mood with Layla Jane are suckers. So I'm gonna go get one of those big bags of dum-dums and just have those in the car with us because I know that'll work. Again, if she's having a tantrum, fruit snacks or dum-dums, always work. Moving on to the third basket, entertainment. Now this one is crucial for kids. You gotta have some good entertainment to keep them busy. One thing I recommend though is try not to pull out anything until you absolutely need it. Try to just talk, listen to music, anything you can for as long as possible until you reach that point where you got to distract them. One thing that I'm really excited about is this tray that I bought on Amazon and it kind of is covers their car seat and has all these different compartments and you can keep so much stuff right there with them to entertain them. So this will just sit on their lap and you can see it has all of these different components. You can keep different things in here on the sides. You can put a water here, snacks there. On this side, you can put crayons or pins, more compartments. And then you can lift this up and this Velcros. There you go. So it'll just sit right there on their lap. You can even set a Kindle there for them. So it's right there close to them. So I thought this was awesome and I'm so excited to test it out. Again, I'll put a link in the description below on where you can find this. Highly recommend it. I think it's gonna be awesome. And that brings me to another essential activity, and that is a tablet. So we have our Kindle, and I went ahead and already downloaded all of the Despicable Me and the Minion movies, because those are her favorites right now. So I have them all ready to go. It's charged, and I'm gonna bring an extra charger, because I am able to charge this in the car too. So when she's like sleeping or busy doing another activity, I can be giving this some more juice, just in case. I like to have crayons, so I have these Crayola twistables, of course some paper. You just slide these in there and keep blank paper, coloring pages, whatever you want in there. And Play-Doh, I'm gonna have some Play-Doh for her and I'll probably put these on one of the sides of my basket, so probably like right here, just to have a few Play-Doh containers. I'm not gonna bring all of these, maybe just a couple, and then just a little of the accessories, like the little scissors and just the shape cutters. Not a whole bunch, just a few to keep her busy. Now I'm gonna get to the really fun part. So I got this idea from my sister on her channel, Tic Tac Toy Family. They were preparing for a road trip, and my sister found this idea on Pinterest, where you take a bunch of different bags, and you put like a fun little surprise in each one. And it doesn't need to be anything expensive. You don't need to break the bank. In fact, I got a lot of this stuff from the dollar bin at Target and from the dollar store. So again, it doesn't need to be expensive. And then you write a number on each bag. So like here is number one and they open a bag. Your kid opens a bag every hour. So the first hour they open this one and who doesn't love opening presents, right? I know Layla's gonna love this. And then at hour two, they get to open another one. It gives them something to look forward to and a fun little activity then to keep them busy. Our drive is gonna be about six hours. That's why I created six bags. And I've also heard that some people will do like when you pass through a city, then they can open a new bag. So you might have that city's name written on the bag. Or every time you go a certain amount of miles, you get to open a new one. But I thought for our purpose, it's just easier just to do the hourly one. So now I'm gonna show you some of the items that I put in these bags as little surprises for Layla. In basket number one, or in bag number one, I have some books and I did books that are kind of fun, that have songs in them. So this one, you know, she loves Frozen still and all these will play different songs. So I thought she'd really enjoy these. I also have one of these song books too. In basket number two, 
are one of these puffy stickers and it comes with like a little scene on it and you can place the stickers all around and just kind of make a fun scene and I thought these would be good. They're puffy stickers so that those are easy for her to take on and off and it already comes with the thing on it. You don't need a supply paper for it. There's already a seam, so I thought this would be really fun for her. And bag number three is just a simple Etch-a-Sketch, and it comes with a pin, which is attached to it, so she won't lose this, and she can just have some fun drawing with this. I got one of these for her when she was a lot younger, when she was like one and a half, and she didn't really get how to use it, but I think now she'll really understand and have more fun with it. And bag number four, ah, oh, yes, Wonder Wows. These are amazing. I love whoever invented these. You just fill these up with water and then they can color on these and it turns it a different color when they color on it. They are so amazing. I absolutely love these. Here's one that's already open and you can see it. this is filled, all this is is water. You color it and voila, look at this. So much fun. She's gonna love this. And the great thing too is when it dries, it goes back to white. So you, they can reuse this multiple times. And I'm gonna show you what's in the rest of the bags, but then I'm gonna come back to this and I'm gonna show you a fun little trick to do with this so that you don't lose these pins, because that would be bad. <laughs> Bag number five, and some of you parents might not wanna do this, but I'm doing sweets because that's something really fun. She'll get super excited about it. And you want to be kind of strategic with this. You don't want to do it any time where she might be napping because you don't want to sugar rush. And I'm not going to do it right at the end either. So I kind of, by hour five, she'll probably have napped and I think this will be a good time to give her some candy. And the last one, bag number six, I just have a bunch of little knickknacks and fidgets. So I got these fidgets. This is a horse. I thought she'd really like this. It's just one of those poppets, and she can just pop it, pop it, pop it. She loves these. I think she'll have fun. And also a Spider-Man one. That should be fun too. I also got a slinky from the dollar bin. And now this is something, it was supposed to be in her Easter basket, but we forgot, and I found it the other day. And I think this will just entertain her too on it, on the drive. So I threw that in with a knickknack bag. Now back to my trick and tip with the Wonder Wow. You don't want to make the mistake I made the first time I took these in the car with us. So these are not attached to the Water Wow booklet. If Layla Jane drops these, she has a fit. And then I can't stop and pull over or reach back and try to find it. So I just have to listen to her have a fit. So smart mommy here realized I need to find a way to make sure that this stays attached. <laughs> so simple solution, take some string or ribbon tape and just make it yourself your own little string so that it stays stuck to the book. She's never going to lose this pin. If you have some older kids, I know some of my activities are geared more towards younger kids, but if you want some tips for older kids, go check out my sister's channel, Tic Tac Toy Family, and she has a vlog where she talks about going on a road trip and some fun activities for older kids. Please let me know if you have any good car ride tips too that you wanna share in the comments below. Bye everyone.